It's Ken again, and I'm still Mr. Bill. Welcome to my channel, SSK Promo. You know, I've been seeing a lot of videos come out for the reseller rally that was held in Cincinnati over the weekend, and it just looked like such a great event. It's, I keep thinking, had I been there, what kind of video would I have made? It just, it, who would I have met? What would I have done? And I bet that video would be, would be cool. So cool. Hey, it's Ken again, and I'm still Mr. Bill. Welcome to my channel, SSK Promo. I am here in Cincinnati at the Reseller Rally, having a great time. It is day two, got in town yesterday, had a real good time meeting up with everybody last night. But this morning, got up, went out to yard sales with my buddy here, What's up? old school flips, Jimmy. We did some yard selling. I learned the ropes from him. Found some really good items uh, with his help, things that I wouldn't have looked at before. So let's take a look at what we found. So first up, some Fiesta Wear, coffee mugs. Four different colors. We've got 10 of these total. Each of these comp out about maybe $10 a piece. I'll lot them up. I paid $8 for the whole lot of them. And looking at probably around a $100 return on that. So a really good pickup right out of the gate. When you're with Jimmy, you gotta look at toys. I picked up some little, this little bag of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer toys. You got Charlie in the box. The, didn't I ever tell you? Marbles bounce. You got Yukon Cornelius, you got Santa Claus in there. So we're gonna take a look at those. These were real cheap. 50 cents, I think, a bag, so we'll look at that. An item to keep uh, on the lookout for, any sort of animated Christmas toys, that sort of stuff uh, around the holiday time is good uh, to look up. 25 cents on that. I gotta check it out with some batteries, but that'll probably go well around the holiday time. I did pick up some other items just on my own. We're gonna just cover some of those things that I got help with from Jimmy. I also learned about a new brand that I did not know about. It is the Cool brand, K-U-H-L. We picked up this sweatshirt hoodie right here, Alpaca. Paid $2 for that, comping it out at about $40. Uh, cool, from what I'm learning, is a really good brand that sells really quickly. This hoodie was in excellent condition, no real flaws in it at all. So again, expecting around $40 and a quick turnaround on that sale. The number one item though that I found on the day was the General Lee. Right here, remote control car with the remote they said it was working i'm going to check it out they were wanting 25 dollars for it i ended up making a deal at 15 dollars on this item doing the comps the last sold item was just the car without the remote went for 200 dollars so with the remote, we're probably looking at least around the $200. So that was a really good pickup for my $15 investment. And I got to thank Jimmy. It's been a great day meeting with him and Sonia. Just hanging out for the day and here at the rally. So looking forward to the rest of the evening. Going to show some footage from the rally and some of the other finds that I found. So Okay, think back now. How many of you yawned after I yawned in that opening sequence? Hit me up with a comment down below if I got you on that one. And come to think of it after watching that, all of my dreams, even the regular ones, sound like I'm in a parking garage. So maybe I ought to get that looked into. See a sleep specialist or something like that. But as you can see, I did get to go to the reseller rally in Cincinnati over the weekend. And it was an absolute blast. I thoroughly enjoyed meeting everybody. Couldn't ask for a better group of people. 
Uh, but one of the highlights of the weekend was probably going yard sailing with Jimmy from Old School Flips. If you are not subscribed to Jimmy or familiar with him, his link to his channel is in the description down below. Definitely go check him out. But we had a really good day, and so let's check out some of the items a little closer with comps of what we picked up over the weekend. So at one of the very first sales, I picked up this Fiesta Wear glasses. There were 10 coffee cups, I guess you would say, all together. And now I know that Fiesta Wear is a hot item and can sell real well, but... I looked over these at the table. I just kind of scanned by and didn't see them. Jimmy stopped. He started comping right away. Uh, these are not vintage ones, but they are good sellers. Uh, most of these sell, uh, looking at the comps, anywhere from 5 to $10 a piece. So there were 10 of them all together. I paid $8 for the lot of them. So I'm not sure how I will actually sell them individually, lot them up in groups, either by color or in a set of four. But I'm expecting probably maybe around at least $8 a piece on these, somewhere in that neighborhood for a total of $80 on my $8 investment. But I would like to know if somebody out there has experience with this let me know down in the comments would you sell these individually would you lot them up and if so by color or offer different colors as a set another nice little pickup here was this bag of little christmas toys from rudolph the red-nosed reindeer they are like you got charlie in the box you got sam the snowman Yukon Cornelius, you've got the Abominable Snowman, and that little bag of toys right there I paid 50 cents for, and they comp, now this is not a complete set, there should be a Rudolph and a Clarice Reindeer, but even in this lot, the more sought after ones are the Charlie in the Box and the Abominable Snowman, so... This little bag right here, I would expect to get around $20 out of, and for $0.50, cents, that was a great pickup. I'm mainly trying to focus on the items that you would have saw in the video that I found with Jimmy, but this is one that I picked up right here. It's a little Yahtzee handheld game. It's like the smoke clear cover. I always pick these up any kind of handheld video game because they always sell really well pretty quickly. This one I paid 25 cents for. Most of the time you can pick them up around that 25 to 50 cent range. And this one should go for around $15 regularly, maybe even up towards 20. But uh, pick these up when you see them. The next item I would have no clue about. I don't do a lot of clothing, but I picked up this really cool Cool, K-U-H-L, alpaca hoodie right here. Actually, I was standing there looking at something else on the table, and Jimmy said, hey, take a look at that sweater right down there. Let's take a look at that. And he spotted that logo right there. That is the cool logo. And this thing is pretty much flawless. There's no... No picks, no holes, no stains. Paid $2 for this and looking to get around $40, maybe $30 to $40. From what I understand, learning from Jimmy that Cool is a really good brand that goes quickly and sells well. It might not sell until fall, but keep an eye out for Cool. An item that I found on my own at the sales, but I wanted to show because it was a really good pickup, was this Wagner Power Steamer. Now, that's a pretty big, heavy box, but I'm not afraid to ship heavy stuff. It was basically brand new. The box has some condition issues, but all the parts are there, and this was on the box. Power steamer, 
fan. Now, I'm a Wheeler dealer. Now, I am comped that thing while I was there, and I'm probably going to get $60 to $80 out of it. Probably more towards the $80 range on that. And at $2, that was a really good deal, and I should just be happy with that. But I did try to get them to take a buck for it. Uh, she said, no, it's pretty much new. We didn't really even use it, so... I went ahead and paid the $2 for it and going to get that thing listed and hoping for a really big profit on that. Okay, the last item here that I'm going to show was the find of the weekend. Now, I did find a number of other things that I bought, but I wanted to focus on the things that, that Jimmy turned me on to that he helped me with, stuff that I would have overlooked. Now, if you know Jimmy and you watch his videos, which... If you're not, I'm not sure why not. So find that link down in the description. Get subscribed and and gain this knowledge yourself from his channel. Now, if you know Jimmy, he is a toy guy. So this last item is right in his wheelhouse. It is a vintage Dukes of Hazard General Lee remote control car. Now, this thing is in excellent condition. Uh, it does work if you go check out Jimmy's latest video. He was driving it around in the parking garage at the end. So, we discussed this. They wanted $25 for it. We comped it a little bit better and found out that the last sale on one of these was for the car only without the remote. And it sold for $200. So, I'm looking at a... $200 plus sale on this. They asked $25 for it. We discussed, oh, see if you can offer them $20. I went back to the folks and I offered $15 and they accepted that. So, wow, what a find to get that item. $200 plus for just $15. And I am super excited and super thankful to Jimmy for all of his help. And uh, just a really good day we had out at the sales, learning and laughing and just having fun. So thank you, Jimmy, for that. That is the highlights, anyway, of all the items that I found at the yard sales. Jimmy found a number of good things for himself, as did everybody that was at the rally. The Cincinnati area was just full of... Yard sales, community sales, people went thrifting at the thrift stores and everybody was just finding great, great stuff. It's uh, If you see somebody's videos about the reseller rally, make sure to click on them, start watching them, follow, subscribe. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe as well. But I want to send a super shout out to Larry Way Out One. Uh, he saw a need on Friday night when all of our plans kind of, they went a little south, we'll say. But um, he fed the masses and bought pizzas for everybody. So Larry's a super great guy. Check out his channel. I'm going to throw the link down in the description as well. And I will leave you with a few clips of the good time that I had at the rally. I hope you enjoy them. And... As always, everybody have a great day and a profitable tomorrow. Thanks for that news. The camera came down and said, Y'all are too rowdy. There's too many of us. Anybody who was at Hot Rod House last night knows what I'm talking about. So, look at Lion here. You remember when we started to announce this thing? Uh, like five years ago or something? About, yeah. <laughs> February 2020. We said, oh, it'd be great if we got a bunch of people together for a party. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> we've had to change boats. We've changed hotels. We've changed dates, times, everything. And you guys have stuck with us for the whole time. So thank you so much. It means a lot to us. We all have a very unique opportunity this weekend to form new friendships, meet new people, that can last a lifetime. There was a man by the name of Daniel Reed Sr. who wanted that opportunity and bought a ticket for him and his wife Michelle to attend the rally this weekend. Unfortunately, he passed away last month. We've got a t-shirt over here that we thought everybody could sign for Daniel and his wife and all their family. This is a little, you know, way to say 
that we're still thinking about him even though he's not here with us. So I want to toast to Daniel and this crazy world of reselling that brought us all together here tonight. Cheers. Cheers. I've got some sheets of paper over here, and this game is called Networking Bingo. The first three people that fill out the bingo sheet, come find me, and I will have an eBay gift card for you. Let's have fun tonight, guys. Glenn just hooked me up. Good job, dude. We got our first hey, winner. Two more. First winner right there. I got it. I got it. I'm going to have to use this for boxes. Danica, my girl. She knows it. She knows it. For us in the home chat. We're going to do it. It's free. She broke it. We got a big order. No, it's like you earned it. He's got a diagonal, that's pretty good. Yay! We got, uh, who's the win? Oh! 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 Oh!
Oh, that's the city of Cincinnati! Oh, 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 oh. What do you think I'm mad with this?